Yeah, I think Mike looks up to Ryan. I think um, I also think Mike doesn't judge Ryan. I think a lot of the the FBI, the established FBI, especially in the pilot, is you know really judging him for the the tell-all book that he wrote, um, the relationship with Claire Matthews, the drinking that he has, and I think Mike just doesn't judge him. I think he knows that whatever Ryan did the first time around to capture Joe Carroll, he was the only one that could do it, and now that Joe's loose again, he's probably the only guy that will be able to do that. So he will follow Ryan. You know, I think he trusts him and he trusts his instincts. Oh my goodness. Um, charming, charming Joe Carroll. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I guess there's always a risk that any character will fall into Joe Carroll's charms. Um, and that is one of the very exciting things about the show is I feel like, um, you know, at least for me, when I read the scripts, you, you really feel like anything could go in any direction and things are not what they appear to be. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think at the beginning, I mean, I feel like the, I feel like we in the FBI are really a little bit behind the eight ball at yeah. the beginning. Like, we don't understand um, the nature of the cult. We don't understand what Joe is doing. So in the beginning, I feel like we're really just trying to get our heads around what is this exactly. Um, and that we spend a lot of time um, trying to put our finger on it, so to speak, obviously trying to stop it as well. But but I think we're really running to catch up at yeah. the beginning. Yeah, I, mean, I think the end game obviously is to is stop this from happening. Right. but it's easier said than done, you know? Right. It, it, it's, it's simplifying it to say, well, we just need to catch the bad guy. It's like we need to understand right. the scope, the scale, and, and, and the motivation, too, to then find out why this is actually happening. So, yeah, it's a, there's, it's a bigger problem than just hunting down. It's a, yeah. not, bigger than a manhunt, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, the show is uh, so well-written and so fast-paced. I mean, the thriller aspect, the investigation moves so quickly that, yeah, I mean, even when I... Have seen the I've seen the first three episodes now, and I I was picking up on things that even that I'd sort of forgotten about when I'd read in the script, or that were you know more amplified because you see them on screen. And yeah, I think it's the show is very complicated, and you're it, it's moving so quickly that you're just you're just moving along with the case. You you don't have time to digest anything too much before you're on to the next sort of like piece, which I love. I mean that's that's a great thrill ride. I think that's what's really appealing about the show. Mm. I mean I I think. I, I'm not affected by sort of uh, violence on in film all that much, but I think the um, in the pilot there's a, a certain garage that we go into, and that to me, physically walking into a set, that was probably the most shocking. Um, it was it was really grimy, like a really grimy set. It was really like an oppressive sort of gross atmosphere, and that I think that was probably the scariest thing. Yeah. I, I guess I had a day on, um, I, I'm sort of similar, I'm a fan of like horror stuff, so like I, I'm not generally really scared by a lot of it, but um, in one of my first episodes, um, there's a scene where we walk into a sorority house and sort of like walking over the body, I, I guess my reaction was like, wow, we are really going for it on this show. Like, we're pulling no punches, um, which to me is a great thing because, you know, it just adds to the, the scare factor. <laughs>